And you're, so you swam, this was what, because when you came out, you did look, uh, and I didn't realize you were wearing this. I was like, yeah. wait, she's changed since I saw her last. <laughs> um, so this, this is a mask to keep the jellyfish from biting your face. Yeah, a prosthetist here in LA, he makes masks for people and it's beautiful. And um, I was so, so protected to have it. And what did you do to, to keep yourself going? I mean, I know it was important to you, but, but you could have stopped and you could have said, this is just too hard. I mean, it would be hard for any human being, much less a 64-year-old woman. Like, yeah, I, I don't yeah. know, I, I'm so, I, I can't believe you did this, but what kept you going? You know, Ellen, when I turned 60, I decided it wasn't really about this swim or this record or the athletic feat of it. It was about how do I want to live my life? I want to get to the end with no regrets. I want to be a bold person and a fierce person. And I want to live as though I'm going to find a way to get through every obstacle that's there for me, which is emotionally, physically, and whatnot. And this swim was a test of that. And I feel that I and my team survived it. And we didn't give up. Last year we didn't make it. The year before we didn't make it. 1978 I didn't make it. So what was it that made me say I just still believe and I think it's a way to live life is just to say it doesn't matter how hard. Don't ever give up. Amazing. Amazing. So when you're getting, so you've been swimming for 53 hours and you can't, it's not official until you actually are on land. You can see it's hard for you to even walk and get your bearings because you've been floating in the water yeah, for that yeah, long. Yeah, so you, sea legs. Yeah, yeah, so you're trying to walk and no one could touch you. You can see everybody holding everybody back because it doesn't count until you're on the shore. There's Bonnie, so um, unbelievable. Yeah, you've got to go until there's no more, no more seawater beyond. But you know what? I was so emotional at that moment because it's a long, long road. The hard work, the people involved, the belief in it. For so many years, I, I believed this in my 20s, and to have it finally come to fruition. But those people on the beach, um, they had it in their eyes. They were like, I need to witness this story that says you don't give up and says that it doesn't matter what your age is, keep chasing your dreams. And I saw it in their eyes as I came up. It was such a wonderful connection with those people. What an inspiration. I mean, you really are truly, truly an amazing human being. Thank you, and I, I'm so honored that you chose uh, to come here and tell your story. And I wish we had more time, but, but come back anytime Thank you, you want. Thank you so much. All right, you Thank can you. see Diana's journey in her new documentary. It's called The Other Shore. It's available September 26th. For more information, go to our website. We'll be back. <laughs>